You guys already know we just got another new update for Roblox Funky Friday. This time it's going to be the Livid Lycanthrope Vor V4 update. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe because I do cover every single update on Funky Friday. And let's get right into it. First, we are going to go over the new animations. This one's going to be the Lexi animation for 550 points. This is what the animation is going to look like on Idle. You're like prancing around left, down, up, and then right as well. It's a very girly animation. I like it. I like that animation because it definitely shows a lot of emotion to it. Like, not too many animations these days do that, so it's definitely gonna be a pretty nice one. Our next animation is going to be the guest animation. This one's gonna run you 650 points. This is what the animation looks like on Idol. It's just like from the leak video, left, down, up, and then right as well. I like the levitation on it though. It looks really cool. I like that one a lot. It's very similar to all the other levitation animations that we have currently. Not too expensive. I think it's a good deal. We also have the Kuryu Coco animation up for sale. This one's going to run you 650 points as well. This is how this one's going to look like on idle. You are going to be wielding a shooter left, down, up, and then right as well. You're not going to be shooting it, but it is pretty cool that we have another gun animation in here. Definitely reminds me of the old school Funky Friday type of animations. It's just like the Pico animation, for example. I think it's a decently priced one as well. And then we do have the most expensive animation in the update. That is going to be the B3 Wings animation for 750 points. This is what this one's going to look like on idle. You are going to be having those bat wings left, down, up, and then right as well. We also saw this on the leak video too, which is really cool. Honestly, those bat wings are really cool and it can come useful, especially for certain cosplay or maybe some ideas out there too, which is really nice. So we did get two new map backgrounds. This one's going to be Wetro Spectre's Realm. We saw this one on the leak video and bro, check out the modeling on this one though. This has got, this got some insane modeling in here and there is that hurricane up there. It's like right above the speaker actually, or is it? I'm not sure how they were able to do that effect. It's pretty cool though. But yeah, they did a really great job with this background. That's how it looks like from the outside as well. Pretty decent, man. I like that. And we also got the Westron as well. This background is going to be another cool one. You got some Amogus just chilling on top of the... Wait, what? That was a moving one. They got some moving Amogus in this one? That's kind of crazy, actually. What is that? Oh, it's like a street over there. That is so cool. It's like a road out there. But yeah, this is going to come from the Salty Sunday mod. It's really cool that they're able to add in even more decals of more people over on Twitter. So make sure you check out Marshy Flake on Twitter, man. Along with that, servers are now able to hold up to 18 people at a time. The 18 player servers are going to accommodate 4v4s and 2v2s and all the other game modes out there. Along with that, in order to queue up, you have to old E just like the good old days with the microphones. And now you have a new solo button on the bottom left hand corner. So if you want to start up right away, you can do that. And in order to enable multiplayer, you do have to toggle this button on the bottom right hand corner. And that way you'll have, be able to have 2v2s, 3v3s, 4v4s, and everything in between. But I do want to warn everybody, the 4v4 is only only going to work for the Miko Bogar restaurant stage, which is this one right here. So make sure you have your toggle enabled, and that way you'll be able to have some 4v4s right here in the game, which is going to be pretty insane. And so here's a good representation of how 4v4 is going to work like. You're going to have four people on this side, and you obviously have four people on the other side too. So it's going to be pretty insane, man. All right, here we go, boys. The Lickanthrope song. We've seen this in the leak video. We do got that brand new bar game mechanic on the right hand side as well. 100% six on this one. If you don't get a six, that meter is gonna fill up and you're gonna lose some points. So make sure you get those six, man. 100%. Oh my God, <laughs> my meter's already filling up. Dude, even if you get one miss, or even if you don't get like any six at all, like it fills up pretty quickly, man. Like it fills up really quick. Look at that. You get hit and you lose like two to 3,000 points once that clock goes off, man. Like it's a pretty crazy game mechanic. Built for pros. Definitely built for pros. Jeez, man. This is a crazy song, man. 
Both my opponents got a full combo at the moment. I don't know how he's doing it, man. He's got to be hacking or something like that. Nah, he's not hacking. He's definitely a pro, though. A lot better than I am. Oh, my gosh, though. This game mechanic's definitely something that we need to see more of in Funky Friday, though. Definitely something that we gotta see more of. Maybe even like more depth boats and stuff like that too. Like those would be really cool game mechanics. Like let me know in the comments down below what other game mechanics you guys would like to see, man. Like that's gonna be pretty insane out there. Now, other than the game mechanic, I wonder how the score would be like if it was like closer. Maybe the score would be a lot more closer if it wasn't for the mechanic. But here we go, let's take this part out. Oh my god, dude. I can't get this part down though at all. It's like a weird pattern though. I, I gotta get used to that, man. I gotta get used to that. But yeah, guys, you guys definitely gotta try out this song. Maybe you will do a lot better than I do at the moment, but hey, it's definitely a really cool game mechanic that everybody should try out, man. It's brand new, man. <laughs> Bro! Furby Fars, man! I can't believe it's actually in Funky Friday, dude. Like, look at this. I'm not even capping, bro. It's actually 4 v 4s man. It's gonna be insane, but we are gonna be playing Concerning Control. Here we go, man. Let's see what it's gonna be like in here, man. I have no idea what 4v4s is gonna be like. I feel like it's gonna be like 2v2s, but it's just gonna be multiplied, you know what I mean? It's gonna be a lot more crazier than uh, 2v2s, that's one thing for sure. So far, it's so normal, though. I think con Concerning Control is one of the first songs from this mod. It's Bloxing X Funkin or vice versa. I'm not sure if it has anything to do with Friday Night Bloxing, which is another Roblox FNF game. It might have something to do with it, I could be wrong. But it's pretty cool that they were able to make a mod about it, which is really interesting. Come on, team! I mean, we, they only got one miss so far. We got two misses, three misses, four misses, bro. We gotta slip up our game, man. We gotta slip up our game. The dream team against the opposer fake team. More like it. Oh my gosh. Here right, we go, boys. I think we're starting to make a comeback right here. I mean, we got a decent lead so far against the other four right here, so that's pretty good. I wonder what happens in 4v4 if one person resets. I wonder if the whole match resets as well. That could honestly be an issue. Especially if you have somebody who's constantly resetting. Like right here we have a perfect example of like, you know, no resets or anything like that, which is really nice. The mode is working as intended. But I am a little concerned whether or not if people are resetting constantly to be trolls, that could probably be an issue that Funky Friday might have to look into in the future. This is such a bop of a song though, check this out! That guy wearing the Tails costume has a gold microphone, bro! Everybody's using all kinds of different animations too, which is just absurd, dude. It kind of makes everything a lot more confusing, to be honest. But hey, man, the more the merrier. It's part of what Funky Friday is all about. It's kind of like Team Fortress 2 with their hat mechanics. You got Funky Friday with the animations and their songs. And well, I guess you could say 4v4 is added along with them all too. Uh, here we go, boys. Taking a little break from the 4v4s back to conventional 1v1. We do got Wit Roll. Which is gonna be, uh, you know, an older mod, actually. I think you guys remember Date Night, that Date Night mod that was made a while ago. This is pretty much going to be that mod featuring Witty and Carol. It's a very well-made mod by Baby Painzu. It's one of those mods that really makes you cry a little bit, you know? It's very romantic in, toward, in terms of speak as well, which is really nice. And how fitting is this with the map background as well? It might actually not be from the Salty Sunday mod. I, made, I might have made a mistake on that. They're very similar though, they're very very similar. I like this mod too though. The songs are very nice and soothing, they're also very relaxing as well, you know what I mean? It has a perfect balance between everything. And obviously, you can hear Carol's voice once again, just like the good old days. I think a few of you guys remember the Carol mod coming out on Funky Friday a long while ago. I remember that mod when it came out in good old days, man. The good old days of Funky Friday, bro. Oh, just listen to this ending part right here, man. Such a good duo, man. Such a great duo, for sure. Here we go, boys. This time we got some Frenzy action in here from the Fangirl Frenzy mod. Never heard of this mod as well. There's so many new mods out there being added to Funky Friday. It's pretty cool to check up on all of them and pretty making sure, you know, just checking them all out, man. I feel like they're making new mods every single day on FNF, so... kind of, It's kind of hard to try to keep up with it all, but then again... Once you take a little bit of a break, you get back into it. It's really cool to check them all out and see what new features and what new songs they've managed to make. Here we go, Pump! We're doing pretty good right here, man. Look at that. We only got one miss so far. They got four misses, man. 
I think we're doing pretty good so far, ladies and gentlemen. A-OK. -okay. Scoring-wise, it is a little tight, though. I'm not going to lie about that, but hopefully we can try to pull away from that. And obviously, I love seeing Tails on top of the speakers, too, man. He's got that big stop sign. It's like he's trying to be tricky or something like that. It's kind of funny, man. It's kind of funny. Honestly, he's such a well-made mod, man. Song-wise and everything like that. This is going to be really close towards the end right here, man. Oh, my gosh. Did we end up getting the W? Let's see. Uh, no, man. It's so close, bro. All right, guys. Here we go. Versus Sly mod. For some reason, it wasn't on the welcome board update board, but hey, man, it's gonna be a new mod. We gotta try it out. Check out the beat on this one, there. Oh my gosh, dude. Again, it's gonna be another 4v4, so this is gonna be, uh, you know, it's gonna be pretty crazy right here, ladies and gentlemen. But here we go, man. Hopefully, we get our first duckly on the update video. That would be pretty lit, man. Though it's fine if you don't win. It's all about having fun, man. Especially with 4v4s too, man. It's gonna be pretty insane. It's all about teamwork, honestly. Especially on this US update right here. Check out this team right here, man. You got Bob's right here. You got like a couple of floating people as well. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, we got Team Sonic on here. We got Eggman. Who else we got in here? Sonic and Tails? Oh my god. <laughs> We got so many Sonic characters in here, man. I like that. I like that. Bro, that's how their team's doing pretty good so far, man. I'm not gonna lie about that, dude. They're so far, they're completely decimating us, though, man. We gotta try to step up our game once again, man. Like, literally, dude. Go down the wire, damn man. Come on, bro. We gotta step it up, Team Sonic. Tails, Knuckles. We gotta step it up in here, man. Here we go. Here we go. I think we got it. I think we got it. Oh, my gosh. Bro, again, they're, they're, they're just too OP, man. Make sure you smash that like and subscribe. 4v4s are finally in Funky Friday. Go check it all out. Make sure you use stock code attack when buying Robux and premium. We will see you guys on the next video. Take care.